Nehemiah chapters 1 to 13. Chapter 1. Discovery that the wall is broken down. 1. The words of Nehemiah the son of Hakaliah. And it came to pass in the month Chislev, in the twentieth year, as I was in Shushan the citadel, to that Hanani, one of my brothers, came, he and certain men of Judah, and I asked them concerning the Jews that had escaped, who were left of the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. 3. And they said unto me, The remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province are in great distress and reproach, the wall of Jerusalem also is broken down, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. Nehemiah intercedes with God. 4. And it came to pass, when I heard these words, that I sat down and wept, and mourned certain days, and fasted, and prayed before the God of heaven. 5. And said, I beseech you, O Lord God of heaven, the great and awesome God, that keeps covenant and mercy for them that love him and observe his commandments. 6. Let your ear now be attentive, and your eyes open, that you may hear the prayer of your servant, which I pray before you now day and night, for the children of Israel your servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against you, both I and my father's house have sinned. 7. We have dealt very corruptly against you, and have not kept the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the ordinances, which you commanded your servant Moses. 8. Remember, I beseech you, the word that you commanded your servant Moses, saying, If you transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. 9. But if you turn unto me, and keep my commandments, and do them, though some of you were cast out unto the uttermost part of the heaven, yet will I gather them from there, and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there. 10. Now these are your servants and your people, whom you have redeemed by your great power, and by your strong hand. 11. O Lord, I beseech you, let now your ear be attentive to the prayer of your servant, and to the prayer of your servants, who desire to fear your name, and prosper, I pray you, your servant this day, and grant him mercy in the sight of this man. For I was the king's cupbearer. Chapter 2. Nehemiah intercedes with Artaxerxes. 1. And it came to pass in the month Nisan, in the twentieth year of Artaxerxes the king, that wine was before him, and I took up the wine, and gave it unto the king. Now I had never been sad before in his presence. 2. Therefore the king said unto me, Why is your countenance sad, seeing you are not sick? This is nothing else but sorrow of heart. Then I was very much afraid. 3. And said unto the king, Let the king live forever. Why should not my countenance be sad, when the city, the place of my father's sepulchres, lies waste, and the gates thereof are consumed with fire? For then the king said unto me, For what do you make request? So I prayed to the God of heaven. 5. And I said unto the king, If it pleases the king, and if your servant has found favor in your sight, that you would send me unto Judah, unto the city of my father's sepulchres, that I may rebuild it. 6. And the king said unto me, The queen also sitting by him, For how long shall your journey be? And when will you return? So it pleased the king to send me, and I set him a time. 7. Moreover I said unto the king, If it please the king, let letters be given me to the governors beyond the river, that they may let me pass over till I come into Judah. 8. And a letter unto Asaph the keeper of the king's forest, that he may give me timber to make beams for the gates of the fortress which pertains to the house, and for the wall of the city, and for the temple that I shall enter into. And the king so granted me, according to the good hand of my God upon me. Nehemiah comes to Jerusalem. 9 Then I came to the governors beyond the river, and gave them the king's letters. Now the king had sent captains of the army and horsemen with me. 10 When Sanballat the Horonite, and Tobiah the servant, the Ammonite, heard of it, it grieved them exceedingly that there had come a man to seek the welfare of the children of Israel. 11 So I came to Jerusalem, and was there three days. Nehemiah views the broken walls. 12 And I arose in the night, I and some few men with me, neither told I any man what my God had put in my heart to do at Jerusalem, neither was there any animal with me, except the animal that I rode upon. 13 And I went out by night by the gate of the valley, even to the jackal's well, and to the refuse gate, and viewed the walls of Jerusalem, which were broken down, and the gates thereof were consumed with fire. 
14 Then I went on to the gate of the fountain, and to the king's pool, but there was no place for the animal that was under me to pass. 15 Then went I up in the night by the valley, and viewed the wall, and turned back, and entered by the gate of the valley, and so returned. 16 And the rulers knew not where I went, or what I did, neither had I as yet told it to the Jews, nor to the priests, nor to the nobles, nor to the rulers, nor to the rest that did the work. Nehemiah exhorts the people. 17 Then said I unto them, You see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem lies in ruins, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. Come, let us build the wall of Jerusalem, that we are no more a reproach. 18 Then I told them of the hand of my God which was good upon me, as also the king's words that he had spoken unto me. And they said, Let us rise up and build. So they strengthened their hands for this good work. Nehemiah answers the enemies. 19 But when Sanballat the Horonite, and Tobiah the servant, the Ammonite, and Geshem the Arabian, heard it, they laughed at us, and despised us, and said, What is this thing that you do? Will you rebel against the king? 20 Then answered I them, and said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us, therefore we his servants will arise and build. But you have no portion, nor right, nor memorial, in Jerusalem. Chapter 3. Record of the Builders. 1 Then Eliashib the high priest rose up with his brethren the priests, and they built the sheep gate, they sanctified it, and set up the doors of it, even unto the tower of Hamia they sanctified it, unto the tower of Hananel. 2 And next unto him built the men of Jericho. And next to them built Zachur the son of Imri. 3 But the fish gate did the sons of Hassanah build, who also laid the beams thereof, and set up the doors thereof, the locks thereof, and the bars thereof. 4 And next unto them repaired Merimoth the son of Uriah, the son of Hakos. And next unto them repaired Meshulam the son of Berechiah, the son of Meshezabel. And next unto them repaired Zadok the son of Bana. 5 And next unto them the Tekoites repaired, but their nobles put not their necks to the work of their lord. 6 Moreover the old gate repaired Joyada the son of Pasea, and Meshulam the son of Besodiah, they laid the beams thereof, and set up the doors thereof, and the locks thereof, and the bars thereof. 7 And next unto them repaired Melodia the Gibbonite, and Jadon the Maranothite, the men of Gibeon, and of Mizpah, who were under the authority of the governor on this side of the river. 8 Next unto him repaired Uziel the son of Harhiah, of the goldsmiths. Next unto him also repaired Ananiah the son of one of the perfumers, and they restored Jerusalem unto the broad wall. 9 And next unto them repaired Repiah the son of Hur, the ruler of the half part of Jerusalem. 10 And next unto them repaired Jediah the son of Harumath, opposite his house. And next unto him repaired Hadish the son of Hashabnia. 11 Malchijah the son of Haram, and Hashub the son of Pahath Moab, repaired another section, and the tower of the ovens. 12 And next unto him repaired Shalom the son of Halohesh, the ruler of the half part of Jerusalem, he and his daughters. 13 The valley gate repaired Hanan, and the inhabitants of Zanoah, they built it, and set up the doors thereof, the locks thereof, and the bars thereof, and a thousand cubits on the wall unto the refuse gate. 14 But the refuse gate repaired Malchijah the son of Rechab, the ruler of the district of Beth Hakarim, he built it, and set up the doors thereof, the locks thereof, and the bars thereof. 15 But the gate of the fountain repaired Shalon the son of Kal Hosa, the ruler of the district of Mizpah, he built it, and covered it, and set up the doors thereof, the locks thereof, and the bars thereof, and the wall of the pool of Shalah by the king's garden, and unto the stairs that go down from the city of David. 16 After him repaired Nehemiah the son of Azbek, the ruler of the half-district of beth -Zur, unto the place opposite the sepulchres of David, and to the pool that was man-made, and unto the house of the mighty men. 17 After him repaired the Levites, Rehem the son of Bani. Next unto him repaired Hashabiah, the ruler of the half-district of Kala, in his district. 18 After him repaired their brethren, Babai the son of Henadad, the ruler of the half-district of Kala. 19 And next to him repaired Ezer the son of Jeshua, the ruler of Mizpah, another section opposite the ascent to the armory at the turning of the wall. 
20 After him Baruch the son of Zabai earnestly repaired another section, from the turning of the wall unto the door of the house of Eliashib the high priest. 21 After him repaired Merimoth the son of Uriah the son of Hakos another section, from the door of the house of Eliashib even to the end of the house of Eliashib. 22 And after him repaired the priests, the men of the plain. 23 After him repaired Benjamin and Hashub opposite their house. After him repaired Azariah the son of Maseah the son of Ananiah by his house. 24 After him repaired Binui the son of Henadad another section, from the house of Azariah unto the turning of the wall, even unto the corner. 25 Palal the son of Uzai, made repairs opposite the turning of the wall, and the tower which projects out from the king's upper house, that was by the court of the prison. After him Pediah the son of Parish made repairs. 26 Moreover the Nethanim dwelling in Ophel, repaired unto the place opposite the water gate toward the east, and the tower that projects out. 27 After them the Tekoites repaired another section, opposite the great tower that lies out, even unto the wall of Ophel. 28 From above the horse gate repaired the priests, every one opposite his house. 29 After them repaired Zadok the son of Amur opposite his house. After him repaired also Shemaiah the son of Shekaniah, the keeper of the east gate. 30 After him repaired Ananiah the son of Shelemiah, and Hanan the sixth son of Zalaf, another section. After him repaired Meshulam the son of Berechiah opposite his chamber. 31 After him repaired Malchijah the goldsmith's son unto the house of the Nethanim, and of the merchants, opposite the gate Hamifkad, and to the upper chamber of the corner. 32 And between the upper chamber of the corner unto the sheep gate repaired the goldsmiths and the merchants. Chapter 4. Opposition through mockery. 1 But it came to pass, that when Sanballat heard that we built the wall, he was angry, and felt great indignation, and mocked the Jews. 2 And he spoke before his brethren and the army of Samaria, and said, What did these feeble Jews? Will they fortify themselves? Will they sacrifice? Will they finish in a day? Will they revive the stones out of the heaps of the rubbish which are burned? 3 Now Tobiah the Ammonite was by him, and he said, Even that which they build, if a fox goes up, he shall even break down their stone wall. 4 Hear, O our God, for we are despised, and turn their reproach upon their own head, and give them for a spoil in a land of captivity. 5 And cover not their iniquity, and let not their sin be blotted out from before you, for they have provoked you to anger before the builders. 6 So built we the wall, and all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof, for the people had a mind to work. 7 But it came to pass, that when Sanballat, and Tobiah, and the Arabians, and the Ammonites, and the Ashdodites, heard that the walls of Jerusalem were being repaired, and that the breaks began to be closed, then they were very angry, ate and conspired all of them together to come and to fight against Jerusalem, and to hinder it. 9 Nevertheless we made our prayer unto our God, and set a watch against them day and night, because of them. The people are discouraged. 10 And Judah said, The strength of the bearers of burdens is failing, and there is much rubbish, so that we are not able to build the wall. 11 And our adversaries said, They shall not know, neither see, till we come in the midst among them, and slay them, and cause the work to cease. 12 And it came to pass, that when the Jews who dwelt near them came, they said unto us ten times, From all places where you shall return unto us they will be upon you. 13 Therefore set I in the lower places behind the wall, and on the higher places, I even set the people according to their families with their swords, their spears, and their bows. 14 And I looked, and rose up, and said unto the nobles, and to the rulers, and to the rest of the people, Be not afraid of them, remember the Lord, who is great and awesome, and fight for your brethren, your sons, and your daughters, your wives, and your houses. 15 And it came to pass, when our enemies heard that it was known unto us, and God had brought their counsel to nothing, that we returned all of us to the wall, every one unto his work. 16 And it came to pass from that time forth, that the half of my servants worked in the work, and the other half of them held the spears, the shields, and the bows, and the armor, and the rulers supported all the house of Judah. 17 They who built on the wall, 
and they that bore burdens, so burdened themselves, everyone with one of his hands worked in the work, and with the other hand held a weapon. 18 For the builders, everyone had his sword girded by his side, and so built. And he that sounded the trumpet was by me. 19 And I said unto the nobles, and to the rulers, and to the rest of the people, the work is great and large, and we are separated upon the wall, one far from another. 20 In whatever place therefore you hear the sound of the trumpet, come you there unto us, our God shall fight for us. 21 So we labored in the work and half of them held the spears from the rising of the morning till the stars appeared. Twenty-two likewise at the same time said I unto the people, Let every one with his servant lodge within Jerusalem, that in the night they may be a guard to us, and labor during the day. Twenty-three so neither I, nor my brethren, nor my servants, nor the men of the guard who followed me, none of us put off our clothes, saving that every one put them off for washing. Chapter 5 an outcry among the people. One and there was a great cry of the people and of their wives against their brethren the Jews. Two for there were those that said, We, our sons, and our daughters, are many, therefore let us get grain for them, that we may eat, and live. Three some also there were that said, We have mortgaged our lands, vineyards, and houses, that we might buy grain, because of the famine. For there were also those that said, We have borrowed money for the king's tax, and that upon our lands and vineyards. 5 Yet now our flesh is as the flesh of our brethren, our children as their children, and, lo, we bring into bondage our sons and our daughters to be servants, and some of our daughters are brought unto bondage already, neither is it in our power to redeem them, for other men have our lands and vineyards. 6 And I was very angry when I heard their cry in these words. 7 Then I consulted with myself, and I rebuked the nobles, and the rulers, and said unto them, You exact interest, every one from his brother. And I held a great assembly against them. 8 And I said unto them, We after our ability have redeemed our brethren the Jews, who were sold unto the nations, and will you even sell your brethren? Or shall they be sold unto us? Then held they their peace, and found nothing to answer. 9 Also I said, It is not good what you do. Ought you not to walk in the fear of our God because of the reproach of the nations our enemies? 10 I likewise, and my brethren, and my servants, are lending them money and grain. I pray you, let us stop this charging interest. 11 Restore, I pray you, to them, even this day, their lands, their vineyards, their olive yards, and their houses, also the hundredth part of the money, and of the grain the wine, and the oil, that you exact of them. Twelve then said they, we will restore them, and will require nothing of them, so will we do as you say. Then I called the priests, and took an oath of them, that they should do according to this promise. Thirteen also I shook my lap, and said, so God shake out every man from his house, and from his labor, that performs not this promise, even thus be he shaken out, and emptied. And all the congregation said, Amen, and praised the Lord. And the people did according to this promise. Unselfish example of Nehemiah. 14 Moreover from the time that I was appointed to be their governor in the land of Judah, from the twentieth year even unto the two and thirtieth year of Artaxerxes the king, that is, twelve years, I and my brethren have not eaten the food allowance of the governor. 15 But the former governors that had been before me laid burdens upon the people, and had taken of them food and wine, besides forty shekels of silver, yea, even their servants bore rule over the people, but so did not I, because of the fear of God. 16 Yea, also I continued in the work of this wall, neither bought we any land, and all my servants were gathered there unto the work. 17 Moreover there were at my table a hundred and fifty of the Jews and rulers, besides those that came unto us from among the nations that are about us. 18 Now that which was prepared for me daily was one ox and six choice sheep, also fowls were prepared for me, and once in ten days abundant stores of all sorts of wine. Yet for all this required not I the food allowance of the governor, because the bondage was heavy upon this people. 19 Think upon me, my God, for good, according to all that I have done for this people. Chapter 6. Enemies send messages to Nehemiah.
One now it came to pass, when Sanballat, and Tobiah, and Geshem the Arabian, and the rest of our enemies, heard that I had built the wall, and that there was no break left in it, though at that time I had not set up the doors upon the gates too that Sanballat and Geshem sent unto me, saying, Come, let us meet together in some one of the villages in the plain of Ono. But they thought to do me harm. 3 And I sent messengers unto them, saying, I am doing a great work, so that I cannot come down, why should the work cease, while I leave it, and come down to you? 4 Yet they sent unto me four times in this way, and I answered them after the same manner. Enemies invent slander against Nehemiah. 5 Then sent Sanballat his servant unto me in the same way the fifth time with an open letter in his hand, 6 In it was written, it is reported among the nations, and Geshem also says it, that you and the Jews think to rebel, for which cause you build the wall, that you may be their king, according to these words. 7 And you have also appointed prophets to proclaim concerning you at Jerusalem, saying, There is a king in Judah, and now shall it be reported to the king according to these words. Come now therefore, and let us take counsel together. 8 Then I sent unto him, saying, There are no such things done as you say, but you invent them out of your own heart. 9 For they all made us afraid, saying, Their hands shall be weakened from the work, that it will not be done. Now therefore, O God, strengthen my hands. Enemies attempt to trap Nehemiah. 10 Afterward I came unto the house of Shemaiah the son of Deliah the son of Mehetabil, who was shut up, and he said, let us meet together in the house of God, within the temple, and let us shut the doors of the temple, for they will come to slay you, yea, in the night will they come to slay you. 11 And I said, Should such a man as I flee? And who is there, that, being as I am, would go into the temple to save his life? I will not go in. 12 And, lo, I perceived that God had not sent him, but that he pronounced this prophecy against me for Tobiah and Sanballat had hired him. Thirteen therefore was he hired, that I should be afraid, and do so, and sin, and that they might have matter for an evil report, that they might reproach me. Fourteen my God, think you upon Tobiah and Sanballat according to these their works, and on the prophetess Noadiah, and the rest of the prophets, that would have put me in fear. The wall is finished. 15 So the wall was finished in the twenty and fifth day of the month Elul, in fifty and two days. 16 And it came to pass, that when all our enemies heard of it, and all the nations that were about us saw these things, they were much cast down in their own eyes, for they perceived that this work was done by our God. 17 Moreover in those days the nobles of Judah sent many letters unto Tobiah, and the letters of Tobiah came unto them. 18 For there were many in Judah sworn unto him, because he was the son-in-law of Shekaniah the son of Ara, and his son Jehohanan had married the daughter of Meshulam the son of Berechiah. 19 Also they reported his good deeds before me, and uttered my words to him. And Tobias sent letters to put me in fear. Chapter 7 The Organization of Jerusalem 1 Now it came to pass, when the wall was built, and I had set up the doors, and the doorkeepers and the singers and the levites were appointed, to that I gave my brother Hanani, and Ananiah the ruler of the palace, charge over Jerusalem, for he was a faithful man, and feared God more than many. 3 And I said unto them, Let not the gates of Jerusalem be opened until the sun is hot, and while they stand guard, let them shut the doors, and bar them and appoint guards from the inhabitants of Jerusalem, every one at his station, and every one to be opposite his house. For now the city was large and great, but the people in it were few, and the houses were not rebuilt. The plan put into Nehemiah's heart. Five and my God put into my heart to gather together the nobles, and the rulers, and the people, that they might be registered by genealogy. And I found a register of the genealogy of them who came up at the first, and found written in it, six these are the children of the province, that went up out of the captivity, of those that had been carried away, whom Nebuchadnezzar the king of Babylon had carried away, and came again to Jerusalem and to Judah, every one unto his city. The leaders. Seven who came with Zerubbabel, Jeshua, Nehemiah, Azariah, Ramiah, Nehemiah, Mordecai, 
Bilshan, Misprith, Bigbai, Nahum, Bana. The number, I say, of the men of the people of Israel was this. The men of Israel. Eight the children of Parish, 2170 and 2. Nine the children of Shephatiah, 370 and 2. Ten the children of Ara, 650 and 2. Eleven the children of Pahath Moab, of the children of Jeshua and Joab, 2818. Twelve the children of Elam, 8250 and 4. Thirteen the children of Zatu, 840 and 5. Fourteen the children of Zakai, 703 score. Fifteen the children of Binui, 640 and 8. Sixteen the children of Bebai, 620 and 8. Seventeen the children of Asgog, 2320 and 2. Eighteen the children of Adonikam, 603 score and 7. Nineteen the children of Bigvi, 2003 score and 7. Twenty the children of Aden, 650 and 5. 21 The children of Adar of Hezekiah, 90 and 8. 22 The children of Hashem, 320 and 8. 23 The children of Bezai, 320 and 4. 24 The children of Harith, 112. 25 The children of Gibeon, 90 and 5. 26 The men of Bethlehem and Netapha, 104 score and 8. 27 The men of Anathoth, 120 and 8. 28 The men of Beth Asmaveth, 40 and 2. 29 The men of Kariath Jerim, Chephira, and Beeroth, 740 and 3. 30 The men of Ramah and Geba, 620 and 1. 31 The men of Mikmas, 120 and 2. 32 The men of Bethel and I, 120 and 3. 33 The men of the other Nebo, 50 and 2. 34 The children of the other Elam, 8,250 and 4. 35 The children of Harem, 320. 36 The children of Jericho, 340 and 5. 37 The children of Lod, Hadid, and Ono, 720 and 1. 38 The children of Sena, 3,930. The priests. 39 The priests. The children of Jediah, of the house of Jeshua, 970 and 3. 40 The children of Amur, 8050 and 2. 41 The children of Pashur, 8240 and 7. 42 The children of Harem, 8017. The Levites. 43 The Levites, the children of Jeshua, of Cadmiel, and of the children of Hodeva, 70 and 4. 44 The singers. The children of Asaph, 840 and 8. 45 The gatekeepers, the children of Shalom, the children of Adar, the children of Talman, the children of Akab, the children of Hadita, the children of Shobai, 830 and 8. The Nethanims. 46 The Nethanim, the children of Ziha, the children of Hasapa, the children of Taboth, 47 The children of Karis, the children of Sia, the children of Padon, 48 The children of Labana, the children of Hagaba, the children of Shalmai, 49 The children of Hanan, the children of Gadel, the children of Gahar, 50 The children of Riaya, the children of Rezin, the children of Nakoda, 51 The children of Gazim, the children of Uzza, the children of Pasea, 52 The children of Besai, the children of Munim. The children of Nephishism, 53 The children of Bakbuk, the children of Hakufa, the children of Harher, 54 The children of Basleth, the children of Mahida, the children of Harsha, 55 The children of Barkos, the children of Sizera, the children of Tema, 56 The children of Neziah, the children of Hadapha. 57 The children of Solomon's servants, the children of Sotai, the children of Sophrath, the children of Parida, 58 The children of Jala, the children of Darkon, the children of Gadel, 59 The children of Shephatia, the children of Hattel, the children of Potrath of Zebaim, the children of Ammon. 60 All the Nethanim, and the children of Solomon's servants, were 390 and 2. The men of Israel. 61 And these were they who went up also from Telephone Mela, Telephone Harsha, Cherub, Adon, and Amur, 
but they could not prove their father's house, nor their descendants, whether they were of Israel. 62 The children of Deliah, the children of Tobiah, the children of Nakoda, 640 and 2. The priests. 63 And of the priests, the children of Habiah, the children of Hakos, the children of Barzillai, who took one of the daughters of Barzillai the Gileadite as his wife, and was called after their name. 64 These sought their registration among those that were enrolled by genealogy, but it was not found. Therefore were they, as defiled, put from the priesthood. 65 And the governor said unto them, that they should not eat of the most holy things, till a priest could consult with Urim and Thummim. The whole congregation. 66 The whole congregation together was forty and two thousand three hundred and threescore, sixty-seven besides their manservants and their maidservants, of whom there were seven thousand three hundred thirty and seven, and they had two hundred forty and five singing men and singing women. Sixty-eight their horses, seven hundred thirty and six, their mules, two hundred forty and five, sixty-nine their camels, four hundred thirty and five, six thousand seven hundred and twenty donkeys. Gifts of the remnant for the work. Seventy and some of the heads of the fathers, houses gave to the work. The governor gave to the treasury a thousand derricks of gold, fifty basins, five hundred and thirty priests' garments. Seventy-one and some of the heads of the fathers, houses gave to the treasury of the work twenty thousand derricks of gold, and two thousand and two hundred minas of silver. Seventy-two and that which the rest of the people gave was twenty thousand derricks of gold, and two thousand minas of silver, and threescore and seven priests' garments. Seventy-three so the priests, and the levites, and the gatekeepers, and the singers, and some of the people, and the nethanim, and all Israel, dwelt in their cities, and when the seventh month came, the children of Israel were in their cities. Chapter 8. Reading of the Law. One and all the people gathered themselves together as one man into the street that was before the water gate, and they spoke unto Ezra the scribe to bring the book of the law of Moses, which the Lord had commanded to Israel. Two and Ezra the priest brought the law before the congregation both of men and women, and all that could hear with understanding, upon the first day of the seventh month. Three and he read in it facing the square that was before the water gate from the morning until midday, before the men and the women, and those that could understand, and the ears of all the people were attentive unto the book of the law. For and Ezra the scribe stood upon a pulpit of wood, which they had made for the purpose, and beside him stood Mattithiah, and Shema, and Aniah, and Uriah, and Hilkiah, and Maseah, on his right hand, and on his left hand, Pediah, and Mishel, and Malchijah, and Hashem, and Hashbadana, Zechariah, and Meshalem. 5 And Ezra opened the book in the sight of all the people, for he was above all the people, and when he opened it, all the people stood up. 6 And Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God. And all the people answered, Amen, Amen, lifting up their hands, and they bowed their heads, and worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. 7 Also Jeshua, and Bani, and Sherbiah, Hamin, Akab, Shabbatai, Hodiah, Maseah, Kalita, Azariah, Josabad, Hanan, Peliah, and the Levites, caused the people to understand the law, and the people stood in their place. 8 So they read in the book in the law of God distinctly, and gave the sense, and caused them to understand the reading. Celebration because of the law. 9 And Nehemiah, who is the governor, and Ezra the priest the scribe, and the Levites that taught the people, said unto all the people, This day is holy unto the Lord your God, mourn not, nor weep. For all the people wept, when they heard the words of the law. 10 Then he said unto them, Go your way eat the fat, and drink the sweet wine, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord, neither be you grieved, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. 11 So the Levites stilled all the people, saying, Hold your peace, for the day is holy, neither be you grieved. 12 And all the people went their way to eat, and to drink, and to send portions, and to make great rejoicing, because they had understood the words that were declared unto them. Israel obeys the law. 13 And on the second day were gathered together the heads of the fathers, houses of all the people, 
the priests, and the Levites, unto Ezra the scribe, even to understand the words of the law. 14 And they found written in the law which the Lord had commanded by Moses, that the children of Israel should dwell in booths in the feast of the seventh month, 15 And that they should publish and proclaim in all their cities, and in Jerusalem, saying, Go forth unto the mountain, and bring olive branches, and pine branches, and myrtle branches, and palm branches, and branches of leafy trees, to make booths, as it is written. 16 So the people went forth, and brought them, and made themselves booths, every one upon the roof of his house, and in their courts, and in the courts of the house of God, and in the square at the water gate, and in the square at the gate of Ephraim. 17 And all the congregation of them that were come again out of the captivity made booths, and sat under the booths, for since the days of Joshua the son of Nun unto that day had not the children of Israel done so. And there was very great gladness. 18 Also day by day, from the first day unto the last day, he read in the book of the law of God. And they kept the feast seven days, and on the eighth day was a solemn assembly, according to the ordinance. Chapter 9. Spiritual Preparations of Israel. 1. Now in the twenty and fourth day of this month the children of Israel were assembled with fasting, and in sackcloth, and earth upon their heads. 2. And the descendants of Israel separated themselves from all strangers, and stood and confessed their sins, and the iniquities of their fathers. 3. And they stood up in their place, and read in the book of the law of the Lord their God one fourth part of the day, and another fourth part they confessed, and worshipped the Lord their God. Great deliverances of God. Four then stood up upon the stairs, of the Levites, Jeshua, and Bani, Kadmiel, Shabania, Buni, Sherbiah, Bani, and Chanani, and cried with a loud voice unto the Lord their God. Five then the Levites, Jeshua, and Kadmiel, Bani, Hashabnia, Sherbiah, Hodiah, Shabania, and Pethahiah, said, Stand up and bless the Lord your God forever and ever, and blessed be your glorious name, which is exalted above all blessing and praise. 6. You, even you, our Lord alone, you have made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their host, the earth, and all things that are therein, the seas, and all that is therein, and you preserve them all, and the host of heaven worships you. 7. You are the Lord, the God who did choose Abram, and brought him forth out of Ur of the Chaldees, and gave him the name of Abraham, ate and found his heart faithful before you, and made a covenant with him to give the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Jebusites, and the Girgashites, to give it, I say, to his descendants, and have performed your words, for you are righteous. 9 And did see the affliction of our fathers in Egypt, and heard their cry by the Red Sea. 10 And showed signs and wonders upon Pharaoh, and on all his servants, and on all the people of his land, for you knew that they dealt arrogantly against them. So did you get you a name, as it is this day. 11 And you did divide the sea before them, so that they went through the midst of the sea on the dry land, and their persecutors you threw into the deep, as a stone into the mighty waters. 12 Moreover you led them in the day by a cloudy pillar, and in the night by a pillar of fire, to give them light in the way in which they should go. 13 You came down also upon Mount Sinai, and spoke with them from heaven, and gave them right ordinances, and true laws, good statutes and commandments. 14 And made known unto them your holy Sabbath, and commanded them precepts, statutes, and laws, by the hand of Moses your servant. 15 And gave them bread from heaven for their hunger, and brought forth water for them out of the rock for their thirst, and promised them that they should go in to possess the land which you had sworn to give them. Great Sins of Israel 16 But they and our fathers acted presumptuously, and hardened their necks, and hearkened not to your commandments. 17 And refused to obey, neither were mindful of your wonders that you did among them but hardened their necks, and in their rebellion appointed a leader to return to their bondage. But you are a God ready to pardon, gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and forsook them not. 18 Yea, when they had made them a molten calf, and said, This is your God that brought you up out of Egypt, and had worked great provocations. 19 Yet you in your manifold mercies forsook them not in the wilderness 
The pillar of cloud departed not from them by day, to lead them in the way, neither the pillar of fire by night, to show them light, and the way in which they should go. Twenty you gave also your good spirit to instruct them, and withheld not your manna from their mouth, and gave them water for their thirst. Twenty-one yea, forty years did you sustain them in the wilderness, so that they lacked nothing, their clothes grew not old, and their feet swelled not. Twenty-two moreover you gave them kingdoms and nations, and did distribute them even into the corners, so they possessed the land of Sihon, the land of the king of Heshbon, and the land of Og king of Bashan. Twenty-three their children also you multiplied as the stars of heaven, and brought them into the land, concerning which you had promised to their fathers, that they should go in to possess it. Twenty-four so the children went in and possessed the land, and you subdued before them the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, and gave them into their hands, with their kings, and the people of the land, that they might do with them as they would. Twenty-five and they took strong cities, and a rich land, and possessed houses full of all goods, cisterns hewed out, vineyards, and olive groves, and fruit trees in abundance, so they did eat, and were filled, and became fat, and delighted themselves in your great goodness. Twenty-six nevertheless they were disobedient, and rebelled against you, and cast your law behind their backs, and slew your prophets who testified against them to turn them to you, and they worked great provocations. Twenty-seven therefore you delivered them into the hand of their enemies, who oppressed them, and in the time of their trouble, when they cried unto you, you heard them from heaven, and according to your manifold mercies you gave them saviors, who saved them out of the hand of their enemies. Twenty-eight But after they had rest, they did evil again before you, therefore you left them in the hand of their enemies, so that they had the dominion over them. Yet when they returned, and cried unto you, you heard them from heaven, and many times did you deliver them according to your mercies. Twenty-nine and testified against them, that you might bring them again unto your law. Yet they acted presumptuously, and hearkened not unto your commandments, but sinned against your judgments, which if a man does, he shall live in them, and turned the shoulder, and hardened their neck, and would not hear. Thirty yet many years did you bear with them, and testified against them by your spirit in your prophets. Yet would they not give ear, therefore you gave them into the hand of the people of the lands. 31 Nevertheless for your great mercies sake you did not utterly consume them, nor forsake them, for you are a gracious and merciful God. Renewal of the Covenant 32 Now therefore, our God, the great, the mighty, and the awesome God, who keeps covenant and mercy, let not all the trouble seem little before you, that has come upon us, on our kings, on our princes, and on our priests, and on our prophets, and on our fathers, and on all your people, since the time of the kings of Assyria unto this day. 33 Yet you are just in all that is brought upon us, for you have done right, but we have done wickedly. 34 Neither have our kings, our princes, our priests, nor our fathers, kept your law, nor hearkened unto your commandments and your testimonies, with which you did testify against them. 35 For they have not served you in their kingdom, or in your great goodness that you gave them, or in the large and rich land which you gave before them, neither turned they from their wicked works. 36 Behold, we are servants this day, and for the land that you gave unto our fathers to eat the fruit thereof and the good thereof, behold, we are servants in it. 37 And it yields much increase unto the kings whom you have set over us because of our sins. Also they have dominion over our bodies, and over our cattle, at their pleasure, and we are in great distress. 38 And because of all this we make a sure covenant, and write it, and our leaders, levites, and priests, seal it. Chapter 10. Men that sealed the covenant. 1 Now those that sealed it were, Nehemiah, the governor, the son of Hakaliah, and Zedekiah, Tusariah, Azariah, Jeremiah, three Pashur, Amariah, Malchijah, four Haddish, Shabaniah, Maluch, five Haram, Merimoth, Obadiah, six Daniel, Ginnathan, Baruch, seven Meshulam, Abijah, Mejaman, eight Maziah, Bilgai, Shemaiah, these were the priests. Nine and the Levites, both Jeshua the son of Azaniah, Binui of the sons of Henadad, Cadmiel, ten and their brethren, Shabaniah, Hodiah, Kalida, Peliah, Hanan, 11 Micah, 
Rehob, Hashabia, 12 Zakur, Sherbaya, Shabania, 13 Hodaya, Bani, Beninu. 14 The leaders of the people, Parish, Pahath Moab, Elam, Zatu, Bani, 15 Buni, Asgod, Bebai, 16 Adonijah, Bigbai, Aden, 17 Adar, Hezekiah, Azar, 18 Hodiah, Hashem, Bezai, 19 Hareth, Anathoth, Nebai, 20 Magpiash, Meshulam, Hezir, 21 Meshezabel, Zadok, Jadua, 22 Palatia, Hanan, Aniah, 23 Hoshea, Ananiah, Hashub, 24 Halohesh, Pilla, Shobek, 25 Rehem, Hashabna, Masaya, 26 and Ahia, Hanan, Anan, 27 Maluch, Haram, Bana. Requirements of the Covenant 28 And the rest of the people, the priests, the levites, the gatekeepers, the singers, the nethanim, and all they that had separated themselves from the people of the lands unto the law of God, their wives, their sons, and their daughters, every one having knowledge, and having understanding, 29 They joined with their brethren, their nobles, and entered into a curse, and into an oath, to walk in God's law, which was given by Moses the servant of God, and to observe and do all the commandments of the Lord our Lord. And his ordinances and his statutes, 30 And that we would not give our daughters unto the people of the land, nor take their daughters for our sons, 31 And if the people of the land bring in wares or any grain on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it from them on the Sabbath, or on the holy day, and that we would forego the crops of the seventh year, and the exaction of every debt. 32 Also we made ordinances for us, to charge ourselves yearly with the third part of a shekel for the service of the house of our God. 33 For the showbread, and for the continual grain offering, and for the continual burnt offering, of the Sabbaths, of the new moons, for the set feasts, and for the holy things, and for the sin offerings to make an atonement for Israel, and for all the work of the house of our God. 34 And we cast the lots among the priests, the levites, and the people, for the wood offering, to bring it into the house of our God, according to our fathers' houses, at times appointed year by year, to burn upon the altar of the Lord our God, as it is written in the law, 35 And to bring the first fruits of our ground, and the first fruits of all fruit of all trees, year by year, unto the house of the Lord. 36 Also the firstborn of our sons, and of our cattle, as it is written in the law, and the firstlings of our herds and of our flocks. To bring to the house of our God, unto the priests that minister in the house of our God. 37 And that we should bring the first fruits of our dough, and our offerings, and the fruit of all manner of trees, of wine and of oil, unto the priests, to the chambers of the house of our God, and the tithes of our ground unto the levites, that the same levites might have the tithes in all the cities of our work. 38 And the priest the son of Aaron shall be with the levites, when the levites take tithes, and the levites shall bring up the tithe of the tithes unto the house of our God, to the chambers, into the storehouse. 39 For the children of Israel and the children of Levi shall bring the offering of the grain, of the new wine, and the oil, unto the chambers, where are the vessels of the sanctuary, and the priests that minister, and the gatekeepers, and the singers, and we will not forsake the house of our God. Chapter 11 The Plan to Resettle Jerusalem One of the rulers of the people dwelt at Jerusalem, the rest of the people also cast lots, to bring one of ten to dwell in Jerusalem the holy city, and nine-tenths to dwell in other cities. Two and the people blessed all the men, that willingly offered themselves to dwell at Jerusalem. Those who dwelt in Jerusalem. Three now these are the leaders of the province that dwelt in Jerusalem, but in the cities of Judah dwelt everyone in his own possession in their cities, Israel the priests, and the Levites, and the Nethanim, and the children of Solomon's servants. For and at Jerusalem dwelt certain of the children of Judah, and of the children of Benjamin. Of the children of Judah, Athiah the son of Uzziah, the son of Zechariah, the son of Amariah, the son of Shephatiah, the son of Mahalal, of the children of Perez, five and Masaiah the son of Baruch, the son of Kalhoza, the son of Haziah, the son of Adiah, the son of Joyarid, the son of Zechariah, the son of Shilonite. 
Six all the sons of Perez that dwelt at Jerusalem were four hundred threescore and eight valiant men. Seven and these are the sons of Benjamin, Salu the son of Meshulam, the son of Jod, the son of Pediah, the son of Koliah, the son of Maseah, the son of Ethiel, the son of Jeshiah. Eight and after him Gabai, Salai, nine hundred twenty and eight. Nine and Joel the son of Zikri was their overseer, and Judah the son of Hasanua was second over the city. Ten of the priests, Jediah the son of Joyarib, Jashan. Eleven Sariah the son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Zadok, the son of Meraiot, the son of Ahitub, was the ruler of the house of God. Twelve and their brethren that did the work of the house were eight hundred twenty and two, and Adiah the son of Jeroham, the son of Peleliah, the son of Amzi, the son of Zechariah, the son of Pashur, the son of Malchijah, thirteen and his brethren, heads of the fathers, houses, two hundred forty and two, and Amashai the son of Azrael, the son of Ozai, the son of Meshulamoth, the son of Amur. Fourteen and their brethren, mighty men of valor, a hundred twenty and eight, and their overseer was Zabdiel, the son of Hagdalam. Fifteen also of the Levites, Shemaiah the son of Hashub, the son of Azrakam, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Buni, sixteen and Shabbatai and Josabad, of the heads of the Levites, had the oversight of the outside business of the house of God. Seventeen and Madaniah the son of Micah, the son of Zabdi, the son of Asaph, was the leader to begin the thanksgiving and prayer, and Bakbukiah the second among his brethren, and Abda the son of Shamua, the son of Galal, the son of Jejuthun. Eighteen all the Levites in the holy city were two hundred fourscore and four. Nineteen more over the gatekeepers, Akab, Talman, and their brethren that kept the gates, were a hundred seventy and two. Twenty and the rest of Israel, of the priests, and the Levites, were in all the cities of Judah, every one in his inheritance. Twenty-one but the Nethanim dwelt in Ophel, and Ziha and Jispa were over the Nethanim. Twenty-two the overseer also of the Levites at Jerusalem was Uzi the son of Bani, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Madaniah, the son of Micah, of the sons of Asaph, the singers, were over the business of the house of God. Twenty-three for it was the king's commandment concerning them, that a certain portion should be for the singers, as required every day. Twenty-four and Pethahiah the son of Meshezabel, of the children of Zerah the son of Judah, was at the king's hand in all matters concerning the people. Those who dwelt outside in Jerusalem. Twenty-five and for the villages, with their fields, some of the children of Judah dwelt at Kariath Arba, and in its villages, and at Dibon, and in its villages, and at Jechabazil, and in its villages, twenty-six and at Jeshua, and at Molada, and at Beth Pellet, twenty-seven and at Hazar Shul, and at Beersheba, and in its villages, twenty-eight and at Ziklag, and at Makana, and in its villages, twenty-nine and at En Rimon, and at Zora, and at Jarmuth, thirty Zanoah, Adalam, and in their villages, at Lachish, and its fields, at Azekah, and in its villages. And they dwelt from Beersheba unto the valley of Hinnom. Thirty-one the children also of Benjamin from Geba dwelt at Michmash, and Ijah, and Bethel, and in their villages, thirty-two and at Anathoth, Nob, Ananiah, thirty-three Hazor, Ramah, Gidim, thirty-four Hadid, Zeboim, Nabalat, thirty-five Lod, and Ono, the valley of craftsmen. Thirty-six and of the Levites were divisions in Judah, and in Benjamin. Chapter 12 Register of the Priests and Levites. 1. Now these are the priests and the Levites that went up with Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel, and Jeshua, Sariah, Jeremiah, Ezra, 2. Amariah, Maluch, Hadish, 3. Shekaniah, Rehem, Merimoth, 4. Ido, Ginnathoi, Abijah, 5. Mejaman, Madiah, Bilga, 6. Shemaiah, and Joyarib, Jediah, 7. Salu, Amuk, Hilkiah, Jediah. These were the heads of the priests and of their brethren in the days of Jeshua. Eight more over the Levites, Jeshua, Binui, Kadmiel, Sherbiah, Judah, and Madaniah, who was over the thanksgiving, he and his brethren. Nine also Bakbukiah and Unno, their brethren, stood opposite them in the service. Ten and Jeshua begat Joachim, Joachim also begat Eliashib, and Eliashib begat Joyada. 11 and Joyada begat Jonathan, and Jonathan begat Jadua.
Twelve and in the days of Joachim were priests, the heads of the fathers, houses, of Sariah, Mariah, of Jeremiah, Ananiah, thirteen of Ezra, Meshulam, of Amariah, Jehohanan, fourteen of Maluchi, Jonathan, of Shabaniah, Joseph, fifteen of Haram, Adna, of Merioth, Helkai, sixteen of Ido, Zechariah, of Ginnathan, Meshulam, seventeen of Abijah, Zikri, of Minyamin, of Modiah, Piltai, eighteen of Bilga, Shamua, of Shemaiah, Jehonathan, nineteen and of Joyarib, Madani, of Jediah, Uzi, twenty of Salai, Kali, of Amuk, Eber, twenty one of Hilkiah, Hashabiah, of Jediah, Nethanel, twenty two the Levites in the days of Eliashib, Joyada, and Johanan, and Jadua, were recorded heads of the fathers, houses, also the priests, to the reign of Darius the Persian. 23 The sons of Levi, the heads of the fathers, houses, were written in the book of the Chronicles, even until the days of Johanan the son of Eliashib. 24 And the heads of the Levites, Hashabiah, Sherbiah, and Jeshua the son of Cadmiel, with their brethren opposite them, to praise and to give thanks, according to the commandment of David the man of God, watch corresponding with watch. 25 Madaniah, and Bakbukiah, Obadiah, Meshulam, Talman, Akab, were gatekeepers keeping the watch at the storehouses of the gates. 26 These were in the days of Joachim the son of Jeshua, the son of Josadak, and in the days of Nehemiah the governor, and of Ezra the priest, the scribe. The Dedication of the Wall of the Jerusalem 27 And at the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem they sought the Levites out of all their places, to bring them to Jerusalem, to keep the dedication with gladness, both with thanksgivings, and with singing, with cymbals, lyres, and harps. 28 And the sons of the singers gathered themselves together, both out of the countryside round about Jerusalem, and from the villages of the Netophathites, 29 also from the house of Gilgal, and out of the fields of Geba and Asmaveth, for the singers had built them villages round about Jerusalem. 30 And the priests and the Levites purified themselves, and purified the people, and the gates, and the wall. 31 Then I brought up the leaders of Judah upon the wall, and appointed two great companies of them that gave thanks, of which one went on the right hand upon the wall toward the refuse gate. 32 And after them went Hoshiah, and half of the leaders of Judah, 33 And Azariah, Ezra, and Meshulam, 34 Judah, and Benjamin, and Shemaiah, and Jeremiah, 35 And certain of the priests, sons with trumpets, namely, Zechariah the son of Jonathan, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Madaniah, the son of Micaiah, the son of Zachur, the son of Asaph, 36 And his brethren, Shemaiah, and Azrael, Milalai, Gilalai, Maai, Nethanel, and Judah, Hanani, with the musical instruments of David the man of God, and Ezra the scribe went before them. 37 And at the fountain gate, which was opposite them, they went up by the stairs of the city of David, at the ascent of the wall, above the house of David, even unto the water gate eastward. 38 And the other company of them that gave thanks went the opposite of them, and I followed them, with half of the people upon the wall, going past the tower of the ovens even unto the broad wall. 39 And from above the gate of Ephraim, and above the old gate, and above the fish gate, and the tower of Hananiel, and the tower of the hundred, even unto the sheep gate, and they stopped at the gate of the guard. 40 So stood the two companies of them that gave thanks in the house of God, and I, and half of the rulers with me, 41 And the priests, Eliakim, Maseah, Minyamin, Micaiah, Elioani, Zechariah, and Ananiah, with trumpets, 42 and Maseah, and Shemaiah, and Eliezer, and Uzi, and Jehohanan, and Malchijah, and Elam, and Ezer. And the singers sang loudly, with Jezrahiah as their leader. 43 Also that day they offered great sacrifices, and rejoiced, for God had made them rejoice with great joy. The wives also and the children rejoiced, so that the joy of Jerusalem was heard even afar off. 44 And at that time were some appointed over the chambers for the stores, for the offerings, for the first fruits, and for the tithes, to gather into them out of the fields of the cities the portions required by the law for the priests and levites, for Judah rejoiced for the priests and for the levites who ministered. 
45 And both the singers and the gatekeepers kept the charge of their God, and the charge of the purification, according to the commandment of David, and of Solomon his son. 46 For in the days of David and Asaph of old there was a leader of the singers, and songs of praise and thanksgiving unto God. 47 And all Israel in the days of Zerubbabel, and in the days of Nehemiah, gave the portions for the singers and the gatekeepers, every day their portion, and they set apart holy things for the Levites, and the Levites set them apart for the children of Aaron. Chapter 13. Separation from the Heathen. 1 On that day they read in the book of Moses in the hearing of the people, and in it was found written, that the Ammonite and the Moabite should not come into the congregation of God forever, too because they met not the children of Israel with bread and with water, but hired Balaam against them, that he should curse them, however our God turned the curse into a blessing. 3 Now it came to pass, when they had heard the law, that they separated from Israel all the mixed multitude. 4 And before this, Eliashib the priest, having the oversight of the chamber of the house of our God, was allied unto Tobiah, 5 And he had prepared for him a great chamber, where previously they stored the grain offerings, the frankincense, and the vessels, and the tithes of the grain, the new wine, and the oil, which was commanded to be given to the levites, and the singers, and the gatekeepers, and the offerings of the priests. 6 But in all this time I was not at Jerusalem, for in the two and thirtieth year of Artaxerxes king of Babylon came I unto the king, and after certain days obtained I leave of the king. 7 And I came to Jerusalem, and discovered the evil that Eliashib did for Tobiah, in preparing him a chamber in the courts of the house of God. 8 And it grieved me greatly, therefore I cast forth all the household goods of Tobiah out of the chamber. 9 Then I commanded, and they cleansed the chambers, and there I brought again the articles of the house of God, with the grain offering and the frankincense. Restoration of support for the Levites. 10 And I perceived that the portions of the Levites had not been given them, for the Levites and the singers, that did the work, were fled every one to his field. 11 Then contended I with the rulers, and said, Why is the house of God forsaken? And I gathered them together, and set them in their place. 12 Then brought all Judah the tithe of the grain and the new wine and the oil unto the storehouse. 13 And I made treasurers over the storehouse, Shelemiah the priest, and Zadok the scribe, and of the Levites, Pediah, and next to them was Hanan the son of Zachur, the son of Madaniah, for they were counted faithful, and their duty was to distribute unto their brethren. 14 Remember me, O my God, concerning this, and wipe not out my good deeds that I have done for the house of my God, and for its service. Restoration of the Sabbath. 15 In those days saw I in Judah some treading wine presses on the Sabbath, and bringing in sheaves, and loading donkeys, and also wine, grapes, and figs, and all manner of burdens, which they brought into Jerusalem on the Sabbath day, and I testified against them about the day in which they sold provisions. 16 There dwelt men of Tyre also there, who brought fish, and all manner of wares, and sold on the Sabbath unto the people of Judah, and in Jerusalem. 17 Then I contended with the nobles of Judah, and said unto them, What evil thing is this that you do, and profane the Sabbath day? 18 Did not your fathers thus, and did not our God bring all this evil upon us, and upon this city? Yet you bring more wrath upon Israel by profaning the Sabbath. 19 And it came to pass, that when the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark before the Sabbath, I commanded that the gates should be shut and charged that they should not be opened till after the Sabbath, and some of my servants said I at the gates, that there should no burden be brought in on the Sabbath day. Twenty so the merchants and sellers of all kinds of wares lodged outside of Jerusalem once or twice. Twenty one then I testified against them, and said unto them, Why lodge you before the wall? If you do so again, I will lay hands on you. From that time forth came they no more on the Sabbath. 22 And I commanded the Levites that they should cleanse themselves, and that they should come and keep the gates, to sanctify the Sabbath day. Remember me, O my God, concerning this also, and spare me according to the greatness of your mercy. Restoration of marriages to foreign wives. 23 In those days also saw I Jews that had married wives of Ashdod, 
of Ammon, and of Moab. Twenty-four and their children spoke half in the speech of Ashdod, and could not speak in the language of Judah, but according to the language of each people. Twenty-five and I contended with them, and pronounced them cursed, and struck certain of them, and plucked off their hair, and made them swear by God, saying, You shall not give your daughters unto their sons, nor take their daughters unto your sons, or for yourselves. Twenty-six did not Solomon king of Israel sin by these things. Yet among many nations was there no king like him, who was beloved of his God, and God made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless even him did foreign women cause to sin. Twenty-seven shall we then hearken unto you to do all this great evil, to transgress against our God in marrying foreign wives. Twenty-eight and one of the sons of Jehoiada, the son of Eliashib the high priest, was son-in-law to Sanbal at the Horonite, therefore I chased him from me. Twenty-nine remember them, O my God, because they have defiled the priesthood, and the covenant of the priesthood, and of the Levites. A summary of the restoration. Thirty thus cleansed I them from everything foreign, and assigned the duties of the priests and the Levites, each one to his service, thirty-one and provided for the wood offering, at appointed times, and for the first fruits. Remember me, O oh my God, for good.